Every single time that this show talks about the Alvarez Kingdom, it makes it seem more and more impossible for Fairy Tail to even come close to stopping them. Like in this episode, they talked about a character called God Serena, and apparently he was the most powerful of all of the wizard saints. But he flipped sides and joined something called the Spriggan 12, and apparently everyone on the Spriggan 12 are as powerful as God Serena. So, Fairy Tail, you guys are screwed. You are already six feet under, but now you're like 12 feet under. And what makes this whole situation worse is that Levy was there when the conversation about how powerful the Spriggan 12 were was going on. Why would that make that worse? Because she still went with this other team, the B team, to go find Loxus. No, you need somebody 10 times more powerful than Loxus. Go find guild arts. In fact, if you can find like 12 guild artses, that would be a whole lot better. Or at least find Loxus, Jalal, and guild arts because that's the amount of power that you're going to need to even hope to stand a chance against the Alvarez Kingdom. Fairy Tail seriously needs to get their heavy hitters back because they are severely lacking in power, especially on the infiltration team. I know those are some of their strongest warriors, but it's still not enough. And the only one who really even comes close to the said levels of those heavy hitters is Natsu. You could probably also put Erza on that list, but we all know the truth, Natsu is stronger than Erza, even though every time they fight, Natsu tends to lose. Whether you agree with the statement that I made or not doesn't really matter at this point because they're both getting wrecked by this teleporting messed copy. Not to mention that we got another antagonist stepping up to the plate to fight Natsu and Grey because Erza and Lucy are currently unavailable at the moment. They were captured by this teleporting messed copy dude, Lady Brandish. <laughs> She is actually a character that I remember from the manga because her appearance is kind of hard to forget. Anyways, from what I remember about her from the manga, she is ridiculously powerful and Natsu and Grey will probably get one shot in the next episode. Anyways, those are really all my thoughts on this episode. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.